Well, the Plus Meteorologist Rob Jones here keeping you updated on the severe situation along the east coast this evening. Yeah, moving to the interior of your home, a closet, a hallway, a bathroom, somewhere where you feel the safest in that Big storms on tap as we work our way through the evening hours. But behind this front, a big cold shot of air, especially for the Sunshine State. Talking about wind chill advisories. Blowing snow is the next concern with the winds coming in, wrapping around that low pressure system. It will get windy. The big concern, of course, is the major river flooding. St. Louis southward is where we're expecting the majority of the major Topping flood. news at this hour, a wintertime warning as temperatures slowly start to rise across portions of the country. The ice on top of frozen ponds and lakes We'll begin to Air melt. travel. It's slow today across much of the eastern half of the country thanks to that massive winter storm passing through it the region. It was also a slippery end to the work week for thousands of people in neighboring New Jersey. Pat Battle of WNBC in New York City braved the elements and filed this On the report. warm side of the system, temperatures still in the 60s and 70s for much of the southeast. We could see maybe a strong storm or two yet, but for the most part, things have been calming down. Still a flooding situation as you head on the north side of the storm, particularly in the southern portions of Illinois, as well as Indiana, southern Ohio, and then back off into Arkansas, Missouri, of course, where we saw the big rains yesterday. The flooding threat will continue there because the basins, the river basins, are still filling with the floodwaters that are draining into those systems. And with, with with that, the river levels do rise and river flooding occurs at that point. As we look behind this front, though, we notice the colder air beginning to work in. So we're drying out, we're cooling things down quite a bit, and we're clearing out our skies. Right now it's 46 in Memphis, 39 in Lexington, Kentucky, 32 in Cleveland. So notice, much colder air behind that front. Out ahead of it, still 60s and 70s, 71 degrees in Richmond, it's 65 in Hotlanta, and 80 degrees in Jacksonville. It is not an organized system, and it is not forecasted become an organized system because of this upper low inhibiting development and that'll be the case over what the are next day. Here? Um, no, we're doing a story on Friday the 13th. Um, come on. <laughs> come on now. We're, we're tight. All right. A serious situation developing in the Keys right now. Tornado warning just issued. All I have to say is go Canes. His forecast for the 2007 season is up to 17 storms, nine hurricanes, and five of those major hurricanes, which is category three and above. We've got a temperature here at CBS 4 in Doral of 65 degrees. Not too hot, not too cool, but just right. Now those two breezes collided right here at the coastline and those storms just exploded. 82 this evening as the storms do begin to clear. We'll take you through the work week. It's coming up. I'll tell you how the storm chances play out in just a few minutes. Stop the ride right in the middle. <laughs> you. Now. How the community has come forward to so many special situations that we've had right here at home. I mean, it's amazing how many wonderful hearts are out out there. No, it's a good thing. And I know when we see our tropical weather around here and we do have a terrible situation mm -hmm. and a lot of people come together and everything works out. You know, Miami's it, such a great It's the place. strength of South Florida. Yep. Uh, you might need some of that strength today if you're headed out in the afternoon to dodge some of the thunderstorms again. We could see some of those on the strong side. So do watch out. Do pay attention. Do be careful as you head out, especially through the afternoon hours. All right, your day planner first, mainly dry this morning. We do have a few coastal showers, a few in the Keys, but for the most part dry, about 84 degrees. 91 this afternoon with those heavy storms firing up. Watch out for the gusty winds, the lightning. Some of those could be strong to severe once again. 82 this evening as the storms begin to clear. All right, temperatures across South Florida right now. We have 80 right here at CBS 4 in Doral, 79 in the airport, Miami, 79 Fort Lauderdale, Key West coming in at 85 degrees. Your stickiness scales at a six, fairly sticky. Feels like 85 as you factor in the humidity. Winds are calm right here. And we've seen one one hundredth of an inch of rain here at the station in Doral. All right, temperatures across the rest of South Florida, mid to upper 70s, 79 at the airport, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, 78, Opelika, Pompano coming in at 77 degrees. So not so much of a stickiness uh, factor out there this morning. Morning. Your feels like temperature is just a few degrees warmer since our temps are a little bit cooler this morning with all that rain cool there we did get yesterday. All right, here it is, 215 yesterday. This is just before most of us saw those big storms fire up. We saw the big black clouds coming in, though. They rolled in from the west and fired up and down the coastline through Miami Dade and Broward and into the Palm Beaches as well. We all saw that activity yesterday. This morning, though, looking at clearer skies, some higher clouds sort of lingering, some debris clouds in spots, but we expect the filtered sun as the morning does go. 
on. Your lake update shows us uh, getting a good bit of rain across the southern half of the peninsula yesterday. Lake level, though, unfortunately, dropped just a touch, 9.05 feet. That's the current level, your record low there, and the normal 13.76. Now, in the next couple of days, with all the rain that we have been getting, hopefully that lake level will go back up. Here's your tropical wave this morning. You see kind of fizzling out a bit. That's the good news there. That upper level low that was spinning up, still sort of interacting with that wave and shearing it apart and not allowing it to develop. But that upper low spinning here is beginning to push off a bit. So conditions will get a little bit more favorable in the next couple of days for some possible development. It's not saying it will develop, not saying anything will occur, but the potential is there the next couple of days as that system does push off. All right, some filtered sun today, then a stormy afternoon here on your true view. You see the lightning strikes, you see the big dark clouds on there, so we could have another stormy afternoon. Uh, kind of like we saw yesterday. All right, sun and clouds for tomorrow as this uh, front approaches, but uh, no cool down on the way. It is summertime. It's clouds and sun today, afternoon storms likely. Some of those could be strong. 91 degrees is where we top out on the waters. Southwesterly winds at 5 to 10 seas, 1 to 2 feet light chop on the bay. 87 is your surf temp. Storms fade in the evening, then mainly dry overnight. 76, that's your low. The next couple of days, our storm chances stay pretty good. The afternoon thing where we get those big afternoon storms with the southwesterly flow pushing all the activity in our direction. Mid to late week, though, that's when we see fewer storms. We're always on at CBS4.com. Click on weather and you can see the latest images of real-time Doppler 4 show you where the rain is falling. Ladies, are you hearing? If you need the yard done, get it done this morning. Early. Wake them up. All right, Rob, thanks.